Right. Okay, I have something so exciting in those boxes that I cannot wait to tell you guys about. I can't tell you just quite yet, and if some of you are very sharp, you might have an idea of what it is. Such a comfortable t-shirt, wow. Let's get started with today's video. Basically what we are gonna be doing is I'm gonna be breaking down my process on how I actually create these YouTube videos that you guys watch. The videos that we make and publish on this channel. We do a lot of like B-roll behind the scenes and cinematic stuff like that. But the majority of the time, the videos that I'm actually making are these ones. The complete videos where we have talking head stuff, we have B-roll, we have a whole bunch of different aspects of filmmaking all compiled into that one thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be breaking it down. It's gonna be a bit of a mind bend because we're gonna have like a bit of a paradox. Is that the right way to paradox? Paradigm? Maybe something else? But basically we're gonna be showing you how we actually making this video that you guys are watching right now, Inception. Is that it? It's gonna be a bit of inception. <laughs> Let's start with this. The first thing that we need to do is plan our video and how we want it to actually end up looking. If you guys don't have a rough idea, a rough plan of how you want your complete video to look, you're not gonna know the necessary aspects that you guys need to capture and create so that you can put that video together. The way I like to plan out my videos is by using a platform called Millinote, which is actually the sponsor of today's video, so a huge thank you to them. I would be using this anyway because it's an absolutely amazing platform for all creative people, not just filmmakers or YouTubers. When you're planning out something that is like a kind of creative process like making a YouTube video. You need to sort of just start out by like brain dumping everything that you have going on up in your head onto something where you can start to see what your project is actually looking like and how it's gonna take place. So a Millinote is basically an infinite canvas where you can just throw in all sorts of different like assets. You can put in text, images, music, videos. You can put whatever you want into here and then you can start structuring it around so that you can make sure that you know what's going on. So you can see right here we have these different cards. Now you can add these and you can basically just drag in anything you want from this sidebar here. If you wanted to have a note, you could drop it right here. You could type something in there and then you could add all of the different styles to that note, whatever you guys wanna do. So you can see for my kind of brain dump of how I wanna put this together, I have my video overlay. I don't script my videos that hectically. I want them to kind of be organic. I just wanna to talk to you guys about what's going on and like, kind of just explain it as I would to someone that was just sitting there. I just have a rough overlay of what I'm gonna be showing in my video here. So this is like the overlay, the video shows this and that, I can have my text in here. I have a reference video right here to a similar style video that I have created in the past that has a similar structure and then I have a little to-do list. So I can have shoot the studio scene, which is this what I'm doing right now. I can have the shoot on location, I can get my thumbnail and I can add whatever I want into that to-do list right there. Then I have in studio scenes that we're gonna work through in the studio and I have on location scenes which are gonna be my B-roll scenes that I can use to play over anything. I can have relevant B-roll to keep my video nice and interesting. Then I have some reference images for my B-roll scenes. You can add so much more onto your boards if you want to, but this works pretty well for me. If I had a more cinematic edit, I might put some music options in there so I can get an idea of how I want my video to look by having those tracks right in there. I can see that from here, I'm gonna have to go to my first B-roll scene after I shoot the studio stuff. And then the B-roll scene is gonna come back to my ending scene in the studio. The next thing is these reference images I have. This is gonna be the first B-roll scene. That's gonna be the second one. And being able to draw on your board is also super helpful because you can work in a team and explain different things to different people. You can just reference everything. You can also add multiple editors to this one board. So if you do have a team of people, you can all contribute, make little notes and changes, anything that you want to tell the other person, you can just add it creatively onto this board. So that's basically how I'll structure my videos. Obviously it varies depending on 
how the video is going to end up being and the structure of it. If you guys want to check out Millinote, they are the sponsor of today's video, like I mentioned. You can go and sign up and give it a go for free, otherwise you can upgrade to a pro version. If you any sort of like creative person that has a whole bunch of like creative ideas in your brain that you need to get out, this is incredibly helpful because you can just get it all out of your head and not be like too overwhelmed. And when you're on location or actually doing that project, you can go through it very clearly, making sure that you don't forget anything or miss anything. And you can just have it all right there. You can see like what's going on in your brain right here on the canvas. So go and check it out. You can see that the next thing we need to do is set up a little studio scene so that I can start doing all of my talking head stuff, similar to this, what you're watching right now, but we're gonna set it up at the actual table with the back studio that you guys are used to seeing. So the first thing I want to do is just like set up my studio. I'm not going to go too deep into this because I'm going to make a whole video on my actual studio setup. But basically I got my Aperture 120D right here, a little monitor for me to see myself and I can change my camera and then I got my little recording sound setup and I can put the shotgun mic right above me. Then. Once we are good to go, I can make sure that my table's in the right place. I can have my laptop just off to the side with my Millinote open so that I can make sure that I have my little points that I want to mention right there. Once we're all set up here, we're going to turn on a couple of lights. Then I can start doing my talking head stuff to the camera right here, making sure that I nail all my points and go over my video, anything that I need to tell the viewers about for this video in particular. The B-roll that you guys are gonna need to capture for your video is obviously gonna be dependent on what your actual video is about. So for example, if I was doing like a lens review, I would shoot B-roll of me using the lens, maybe shoot some stuff of that lens in a couple of different scenarios. So you just gotta figure out what your video is about and what the relevant B-roll would be for that video so that you can play it over the top of your talking head or just use it as transitional stuff. I've made a bunch of videos on how you guys can shoot cool B-roll and cinematic stuff. So go and check out those if you wanna see more in depth of how we actually shoot our B-roll sequences but that's pretty much all we really do. We'll go to a cool location for that B-roll and then shoot whatever we think we are gonna need to overlay on our main video. When you guys are shooting your B-roll, not all B-roll has to be like super cinematic. You can also have stuff that's raw and uncut even some talking stuff like this, if you're gonna still be using it just like in between and splicing it over your main A-roll. And that's the important thing to remember is the stuff that you guys are gonna be capturing now is your B-roll, it's your second stuff. Your A-roll is gonna be all of that stuff that we shot in the studio, that talking head stuff. Get all the B-roll that you guys feel that will be relevant to the story that you're trying to tell, even if it is some raw uncut stuff or even some talking stuff like this. Once you've got it all, we can head back to the studio and we can get to the editing part. So when you guys are out shooting, if you need some very specific shots, you can check your Millinoid board and make sure that you are getting every single shot that you're gonna need. You can even create a to-do list in that board and write down those specific B-roll shots that you're wanting to capture. That way you can literally tick them off as you get them out here and you're gonna avoid that worst feeling of getting back to the editing room and noticing that you don't have some critical pieces for your project and have to like go reshoot or something like that. So create one of those, you can tick them off, capture all your B-roll and then we're gonna head back to the studio and start putting our video together. Okay, we are back in studio now and I was just looking at some things, magic, um, <laughs> and I completely forgot about shooting a thumbnail, which is such a struggle. The thumbnail struggle is ridiculous for me personally, at least. Maybe you guys are good at getting thumbnails. I forget them all the time. But I was checking on my little to-do list here and I can see the shoot studio scene, shoot on location scene, and then I have shoot thumbnail. So I was like, boom, we need a thumbnail. So let's grab that right now. My idea for the thumbnail is that I'm gonna be sitting right here. You guys are gonna shoot from right there. Usually I get Jason to come help me with my thumbnails if I take them in the studio. He's the one that magically took the camera. 
And I think the idea for the thumbnail is going to be me chilling like this with my feet up and the camera and the computer. And I think that'll make a pretty cool thumbnail. Thumbnails are so important when you guys are making YouTube videos, as important as the content that's actually in the video. Because if it's a bad thumbnail, no one's going to click on the video to watch it. So it doesn't even matter how good your actual video is if no one's like enticed to watch it. So put effort into your thumbnails. Make sure you get really, really nice ones along with that title, of course. But super important, put a lot of effort into it. Don't forget them like I do. Now that we have everything that we are going to need for this video, we can start putting it together. So. We can see right here to do, we got shoot studio scenes, we've done that, we shot the location scenes, we got a thumbnail, now we can start working through all of the material that we have, using our board as reference to make sure that it's flowing in the right way, and we can put the edit together. Now, I'm not going to show you guys the entire editing process of how I do these YouTube videos, I'm going to save that video for a whole video in itself, because otherwise this is going to end up being way too long and boring. Basically now, I'm just going to cut this whole video that you guys have already watched and place the b-roll over any of the relevant stuff that I want, or otherwise I'm going to just flow through it and use my screen recordings to show you guys the stuff and just edit it as you would a normal video. Then we're going to hit upload, we got our thumbnail, and that is pretty much how I create every single one of my YouTube videos. I start this process again now for the next one, I come up with an idea, I dump that brain idea onto my Milanote board, and then I start working through it and shooting everything again and again. So. If any of you guys have been thinking about starting a YouTube channel or making YouTube videos, I hope this helped. Maybe it will give you a better idea of how we actually put a YouTube video together. Remember that if you want to try out Melanoid for free, it is going to be linked at the top of my description. There's also a pro version that you guys can sign up for where you unlock a couple of cool extra features, but there is a free one if you guys want to try it out. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. What? What did he? <laughs> Why don't you want to be in the video today, Watson? Eh? Why don't you want to be in the video today?